shalom, love from love, hope from hope, peace from peace. You know, what is the restoration of all things that Christ promised? It's clear understandings, not ambiguous, not seeing through a glass darkly, not knowing in part, but being able to shine as the stars of Daniel 12. These are the days of Daniel 12. And I am the latter day Daniel of Daniel 12, 13, who has embraced my destiny as the Elijah task servant. I've known my identity for 30 years because I wrote 20 years in secret. Uh, Google my name, Daniel F. Owsley, O-W-S-L-E-Y. Do images and you'll see some of the 200 books I studied to show myself approved for the job ahead of me. And so in these days, the Lord is saying unto all people, who will come and feed the master's household meat while the master is away. This was his riddle of Matthew 24, and he had already told them it would be uh, his Elijah task servant who restores all things. And so praise God, free at last, free at last can we be if we will just pay attention to what the Spirit says. And for that reason, I invite you all to leave the safety of the shore, come out to the deep. That is where he is. He is the priceless pearl, a great reward. He is the excellence of treasure and the treasure of excellence. And he's calling us out into the deep. Uh, if Christ Jesus were on earth right now preaching, uh, there is no church of Christianity that would let him preach his truth because none of them are teaching the truest truth of love. Love is forgiveness. Forgiveness is love. Love only irresistibly desires that to, to love irresistibly, to that everyone would want love irresistibly. So the Most High has sent his message and know that he will examine every single and foolish idle word that we speak. Praise God, we're not going to be judged for anything other than was our love light on? Because if we're walking in love, we're walking with the Spirit and are under no condemnation. But we will have to give an accounting of the gross darkness of ignorance of love. And you know what? The truth is that there has never been a conditional love that is not uh, divine. There is no conditional love that's ever been divine. Only unconditional love could be divine. And so realize that the Lord wants to change our perspectives. For as no one will escape death, so also the works of everyone will be laid open on the day of the judgment of our righteous rewards. Whether we've been good or evil is of no importance because Jesus said um, all sin will be forgiven man, even sin against him. So if believing not in him were to be a sin, he said that would be forgiven too. What won't be forgiven is if we commit blasphemy of the Holy Spirit to let his light in us go out. For many are going to say, Lord, Lord, I believed, I believed, I, I, I did this, I did that. And he's going to say, I don't know you. You let your love light go out, which is me living in you. For those who love are born of God and know him because he is love, First John 4, 7. So let no uh, strong man glory in his strength, and nor let the rich man glory in his riches. But let he who wishes to glory, glory only in the unending love of Isa Yeshua, Jesus, our risen Lamb of God, for he alone is our majesty of majesties, hero of heroes, our icon of icons, and only unto him let all glory be. Amen.